Hey everyone and welcome back again to the channel. A few days ago I made a video about a new iPhone feature that lets you record phone calls but I realized I made a small mistake and missed one of the steps in that video. So in this one I'll show you the correct steps and explain how to record both sides of a phone call using the new local capture feature and the best part is you can do it without any third party apps. Let's fix it and make sure everything's clear. Starting with iOS 26.1, Apple added a feature called Local Capture. You'll find it by going to the Settings, General, and Local Capture. Inside, you'll see two main options. Where to save, I mean, where you choose the folder in the Files app, where your recordings will be stored, and whether you want to record audio only, if you want to record just the sound without the screen. Now, the next step is super important. You can swipe down and open control center and then add that control, we can say local capture to the controls here available so that you, I mean, easily turn it on or off. Once you make or receive a phone call, here is how you can record it. While you're on the call, swipe down to open control center. Tap the local capture button to start recording. But here is the part I missed in my previous video and I owe you all an apology for that. By default, local capture only records your own voice, not the other person's voice. To record both sides of the conversation, you need to turn on the speaker during the call. Just tap speaker and now both your voice and the other person's voice will be recorded. That's the key step I missed earlier. When you end the call, your recording will automatically be saved in the Files app. Inside the folder you selected earlier under Local Capture, Save To. And that's it. Now you know exactly how to use the new local capture feature properly. I always want to make sure my videos share accurate, helpful information. So thanks for understanding and for supporting the channel. And don't forget, I mean, for the files that already have been like stored, you can share them too. If this video helped you out, leave a like and subscribe for more iPhone tips, tricks and hidden features every day here on Tech Tips. See you in the next one.